Hello, this is Tanner with Bulldog Reader. I'm out here on job number 8080719. This is an upload video. Please delete the previous two takes. One of them, uh, we, were, we were much closer. We were just right at the clean out, and the other one, uh, we weren't able to clear as much. Anyway, so we're here out here about 57 feet. Got called out here. Uh, there's a history with Rotor Rooter of uh, having a cable this line repeatedly. Apparently, it backs up every three months, is what the tenant was saying. Um, they, in the past, have had to use the jetter in order to clear it. So we went ahead and uh, talked to the landlord. He, at first, only authorized the cable, went ahead and sent it. The cable felt like it was basically just traveling through, through almost like mud, just uh, just real thick sludge that was even slowing the cable down. Never actually had that happen before. But anyway, um, we're currently pulling back just because we're holding at this section. We'll stop once we get to a good spot. But uh, so we went ahead and upgraded the jetter with the landlord's permission. Uh, attempted to jet, tried the piercing tip, the root rat, and uh, the grease cut. Um, the grease connector, which was the most recent one we just found, and the uh, we were able to get a little bit further with each one, but we ended up hitting uh, just just a wall. So I do believe that uh, this last one, the grease tends to push more towards the front, really concentrates the blast in the front and sides. Um, so we may have been getting into dirt. Actually, no, you can't really see much just because we're still holding water. But we are slowly, very slowly draining, which is also usually an indicator of being in, in dirt as the water ground kind of just saturizes anything that comes through. Anyway, we went ahead and did locate section in the next door neighbor's yard. Um, and found that it's a three feet. We can write up a dig for that, get that taken care of. It's, uh, it looks like it's only going to be accessible. Um, can't be accessible with equipment just due to the fencing and how close together these houses are. Um, so we'll have to write it up for one to two technicians to come out and physically dig that up. It'll be an exploratory uh, estimate, just, a, just an estimate to come out, dig it up, figure out what's going on, and then go for it. Well, we would have to provide another estimate from there. All right, I'm going to keep pulling back. See, it does look like we're slowly draining, but not enough to keep up. You do see a little bit of chipping on the sides. That's usually from, from the various jettings that have been happening here. There is the jetter and uh, the grease attachment, the jetter that I was using. Going back. Doesn't appear to be any root intrusions, but uh, I was unable to find this. Brake location because it's currently holding right in that area. Well, alleged brake location. I, I believe, based on what I'm seeing, that that is correct. This appears to be cast iron. Because some water is being ran, unfortunately. Iron, then we Y in, switch over to ABS, and we should be pulling out the clean out. So it looks like we're, we were sitting right about 40, 45 feet, which is right where the, I'm um, right where we did our locates. Anyway, this is where the work is formed. This is all the sludge that's just been accumulating. And this uh, clean out's been just left open in order to flush. So, uh, portion of this is definitely from jetting, but there was there's already quite a bit of sludge that was already here. But anyway, we're going to um, keep pulling, pulling the hose back. This has been your video inspection. We will provide you with an exploratory estimate to dig up that line and uh, attempt to figure out what's going on. Thank you. Goodbye.